Hello kids. Welcome to Story Telling Gator. Today's story is the tale of a naughty little rabbit. That's Peter Rabbit. It's based on the original tale by Beatrix Potter. So let's read what the story is about. Hi kids, welcome to Story Telling Gator. In a slug in a slug little burrow. Beneath a tall fir tree, in the heart of the wood, lived a family of rabbits. There was Mrs. Rabbit and her three little daughters. This is Mrs. Rabbit, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, who were all as good as gold. And then there was Peter. There's Peter. Here he is. Look. One naughty little rabbit, wearing his smart new coat. Hmm, he's always looking smart, huh? Today, Mrs. Rabbit had some shopping to do. You can play outside while I'm gone, she told her children. But remember, stay away from Mr. McGregor's garden. Mr. Rabbit had visited once, and never come home. That's so sad. While Mrs. Rabbit was out, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail busied themselves like good little bunnies, picking wild blackberries for tea. But not Peter. He ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden. Here he is. Look, one naughty little rabbit. Squeezing himself under the gate. First, Peter ate some juicy fresh lettuces. Mmm. Then he nibbled some spicy red radishes. Yum yum. Then he gobbled some crunchy green beans. Soon Peter's tummy began to feel a bit funny. He looked around for some parsley, but instead he found <gasps> Mr. McGregor. Peter turned and ran as fast as his little rabbit legs would carry him. But Mr. McGregor chased after him, waving a rake and shouting, "Stop, thief!" Woof! Peter was very frightened. In his panic, he couldn't remember the way back to the garden gate. He ran back and forth all over the garden with Mr. McGregor close behind him. Here he is. Look, one naughty little rabbit running for his life. As Peter dashed through the vegetable patch, one of his shoes came off. Peter kept running. He lost his other shoe in the potatoes. Without his shoes, Peter ran even faster. Straight into the net around the gooseberry bushes. The big brass buttons of Peter's blue coat got tangled up. Suddenly, Mr. McGregor appeared over him. You wretched little rabbit! I'll have you for my dinner," growled Mr. McGregor. Peter wriggled and squirmed to get free. And just before Mr. McGregor could trap him, Peter escaped. Maybe I'll be safe in the tool shed. Oh, the scared little rabbit. A green, a big green watering can seemed like the perfect hiding place. Until Peter discovered how much water there was inside. But Mr. McGregor had followed him into the tool shed. He began turning over flower pots one at a time, searching for Peter. All of a sudden. He heard a rabbit sneeze. Ah, chew! 
from inside the watering can. Now that's funny, huh? Poor Peter was out of the can in a flash. He ran away as fast as his ra little rabbit legs would carry him. He found his way at last back to the garden gate. Finally, Peter was safe in the wood again. Oh, that's good. He ran all the way home without stopping. Mr. McGregor found the two shoes and new blue coat that Peter had left behind. He made them into a scarecrow to frighten away the birds. And the birds are getting frightened. Back in the snug burrow, Mrs. Rabbit was not at all pleased that Peter had lost his shoes and coat. That evening, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cotton Tail had a delicious feast of bread and milk and freshly baked blackberries. Mm. And Peter, Mrs. Rabbit, put him straight to bed without any supper, only a spoon of chamomile tea to settle his aching tummy. Here he is, look. One naughty little rabbit, feeling rather sorry for himself. Don't you fall feel sorry for him too? So that's the end of this story of Naughty Peter Little Rabbit. So that's it kids. Hope you enjoyed the story. That's it for now. Do like and subscribe our channel. Storytelling Gator. Bye bye. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Don't forget to like, comment and share.